Are you ready to learn how to make a s'more today? Because I'm ready to teach you. What up? This is Fox. I'm the camp director at Camp Menzies, and I'm going to teach you how to make the best s'more. Rule number one, safety. Make sure that you know fire safety rules for whatever area that you are in, even if that's at home over your stove, and always, always, always have a parental unit or guardian around. Other safety rules, three points of contact at all times. What does that mean? If you're near a fire, you wanna make sure you have three points of contact. So that can mean a knee, a knee and a hand, a butt and a hand, whatever works for you. We just wanna make sure we're being safe. Rule number three, I think I'm on three, but it's fine. Big stick. You wanna make sure it is about the width of your, the width, the length of your arm a little bit longer. This one's a perfect one. It's got a pointier end. That's my marshmallow side. Hand side, marshmallow side. There's very specific rules here. You are going to take a marshmallow. You're going to put it onto your stick and you are going to walk, because we never run around a fire, to the fire and roasty toasty. So what do I got here? How many points of contact? Pretty sure I said three. So I'm gonna make sure I get on both knees here and then I got my hand for safety. That just makes sure that I'm not gonna fall in, I'm not tripping, I'm not doing nothing crazy. So I'm here with my mallow. Personally, I'm a golden brown girl myself, but some people like to just catch them on fire and blow it out. But I like the s'more to be golden brown. So what I'm gonna do to get that is to find a spot that maybe isn't on fire, but is still pretty hot. And I'm just gonna rotate. The key to this is patience. You're just gonna sit and let that mallow get roasty, toasty, and delicious. Sometimes it catches on fire anyway, but this is a safe place to make mistakes. So that's totally cool. Just blow it out if it catches on fire. So see how close I'm getting to the fire, but I'm not quite touching it because I don't really want it to get all ashy. I just want it to get warm. Should we do a check-in? Ooh, look at that. Do you see it? That's when you know it's good. <laughs> All right, little rotation here. The key is a slow rotation. I'm telling you, you really gotta be patient with this, you know? Oh my gosh. This is gonna be probably the best s'more I've ever made. And we're catching it live on film. Oh my goodness. Another trick is you don't want to drop your mallow in the fire. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that, <laughs> but it's okay. It's very leave no trace. Cause that way the mallow will burn up and bears won't come for it. Here we go. Okay, I think we're almost there. I think that's it. Oh man, look at that. That's, that's gorgeous. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly walk over to our s'more station. We're going to take our, that out of the way. take our graham cracker, split it in half. I'm gonna set this down for a moment. Normally you have a helper here, but it's okay. I've got this all on my own. I'm gonna take my chocolate. I'm gonna take my, my mallow. Here's the trick. Gonna put your graham cracker on top and you're slowly gonna slide it out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And that is how to make the perfect s'more. Thanks for joining us, Girl Scouts. <laughs>